Dan Modi here. We're just getting off at Kowloon Station, high speed station, from the taxi. I'm on the taxi, waiting to We're waiting to check in. 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 Let's go. Let's get some breakfast first. Today we're going to join the Greater Bay Area Homeland Youth Community Foundation. Very new. And it's going to take us to Huizhou from Hong Kong Kowloon Station. Let's go. Already on a high-speed railway. 300 km per hour. Very relaxing, very chilling, very quiet, very peaceful. And of course, very, very super fast. Here it is. This foundation is organised by the government to take young people such as ourselves to show the Greater Bay Area, which is very, very useful. Our number one car, there's about eight of us joining the tour today. And our first stop is the Mangrove Wetland Park. Here it is, the guide. After learning about Wetland Park, lunch is our first stop. Beautiful lunch in Hoijo, of course, it's going to be seafood. Very delicious, very sumptuous, and straight on to our next destination, which is going to be seeing the sea turtles of Hoizhou. Only place in China where sea turtles live and breed, as we can perceive right here now. The price of this tour is around under $200. There's another guide here. Hi, right behind there you can see where the turtles go every year to lay their eggs. They come here from the day they're born to the day they die, they repeat, and from the day they're born to the day they die, they go back to the beach just behind me. Obviously, it's enclosed. This is where they come from. They're basically like an east side GPS system. We're heading towards Philippines, Medina, Cebu, etc. It's an open, wide South China Sea. This these tours are basically great exposure for the youth to see the Greater Bay Area. Different cities, they have different tours. Sometimes this is a sea tour, tour sea nature tour. Next week they have a tour which is about to Guangzhou to see all the electronic cars and EV cars and uh, telephone mobile factories as well. Other tours include a whole different variety of culture, electronic, technological, factory exposure, animals, nature conversa conservation, political institutions, historical sites, and all tours are basically, we'll pick you up, or the tour begins in Kowloon, into one of the main cities in Great Bay Area, lunch, dinner included, and back with lots of uh, beautiful itineraries in the middle as well. Here we see actually the sea turtles. This is where they breed them. They feed them. I'm not sure this is the best way to feed them. I'm not sure what WWF thinks of this. Perhaps they would say WTF. This father and his son there, there's no rope here. He may drop. Oh my God. And turtles now have just had their feeding. I'm not sure they're actually quite full because they, what they ate, the pellets were not quite big. But they have a bit of freedom here. And behind is where the beach, where they mate and mum stop to, of course, make babies. This little fan here is about 190 meters high. <laughs> so, very dangerous. Now we're taking the golf cart back up, which is very comfortable. It's a very hot day. And now we're off to a final destination today where we're going to have some nice to do coffee where is this place you will see it's very very spaceship like this is another brand new hotel built five stars and why is this oh who designs this my god this is about 165 cm tall and i mean can it can look at this look at this oh man that was really painful actual painful but the design upstairs is pretty cool look at this this is actually not a swimming pool. It's mainly for pictures for Weibo, Instagram and Dai Hongshu. But you can see the background. Sunset. Endless beaches. This is a nice little scene here as well. I like this. This is cool. Diwali this week. So happy Diwali to everyone around the world. This scene is reminiscent of somewhere in maybe New Zealand or South Carolina, California. But there's a nice drop. Again, no bungee jumps here, please. Taking a nice little elevator to see the view going up. 
To the left is some new flats. I'm not sure if they're empty or they've just, just gave up because there's so many new building sites around in China, especially the Greater Bay Area. A lot of them do have spectacular views. And now dinner time. A lot of people are really looking forward to this. Dinner in hotels, five star, is a lot better than I thought. And uh, people are very hungry, as you can see, non-stop eating, <coughs> gulp, gulp, gulp. Lots and lots of uh, little, little monsters eating, including myself, enjoying to the full. Next morning, we're going to take a quick little journey across the sea to one of the main beaches in Guizhou. Lots of hotels to the left and right as well. This is the mermaid, famous statue in Huizhou. I don't know why they put it there because it's very hard climbing up. I can imagine lots of kids falling down from here. I think they fell myself. And then the rain came, unfortunately, which sort of dampened the mood a little bit. But now, again, another seafood dinner. This one is very local, Hakka. Huizhou is basically a hacker town. A lot of people from Hong Kong came from Huizhou. And I'm also doing my usual part-time work as well here, helping out when I need to be. Lots of lamb shanks, huge ribs, beef and sheep. And here's the pro. She's showing me how everything's done so I can help her out. Pay here is a little bit lower. It's less than the one in Dim Sum in Lama Island. But hey, I love helping out. Grew up in the kitchen. This is what I do. She looks quite hot, like literally hot, hot. But the food is, you've got to try it. Look at this. Look at the size of the meat. One of these things I really like about Ditch Fire is the scooters here. But you can actually do, just pay and use them. So you don't need a license because they're electric. They're pretty fast, very convenient. And now you've taken these scooters. You don't even want to cycle anymore. Look at me. I'm just zooming around everywhere. Going there, going there, going every little bit, going bit of place in here. Do you see? This is a pretty cool invention. This is one of the main beaches here. It's huge, it's long. It's about 10 km AM long. So you could jog, swim. And here I am again on my scooter. I've absolutely just fallen in love with the scooters. Better than even riding a horse, going top speed. And now it's time to go back home. Back on Huizhou, back to Kowloon. Another quick, fast journey. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Do go to Yo, do go and visit. It's well worth a trip. They have lots and lots of trips on the websites. Take a look, join, Apply the membership because it's fabulous. It's a real eye-opener. See you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.